This is a follow-up to the preceding section in which I described how the update to this mask generating script game has really opened up some wonderful possibilities. But it occurred to me that there's yet another possibility that hasn't yet been explored, but is something that I think is very common for people to want to try to deal with, are satellite trails. Lots of images have satellite trails, and it occurred to me that uh, you can now use this script because it allows you to create polygons, like rectangles, to select things, to make masks about things. Let me demonstrate what I mean here. I'll need an image that actually has satellite trails, and I have a recent one that has a couple of satellite trails. There they are. Now, let me be very explicit here. What I'm about to demonstrate is the kind of thing where you have a single image and you want to in some way take care of satellite trails. You don't have the ability to combine many images and then reject the satellite trail statistically as is the normal way of doing it. So this is the kind of thing that maybe you're taking a picture out on your, with your camera of the night sky on a tripod and a satellite or something, go airplane, whatever, goes through the field and you want to remove that um, this could be a helpful way of dealing with it. But if you have multiple images, don't do this. It would be not, uh, not the best solution. So let's, sh let's demonstrate how you might be able to do this. Go back under script, go back to game. And here we have our satellite trail. So let me uh, zoom into the actual working version here. And... I'll start at one end, and I've, you know, I haven't done this many times, but I've done it a few times, and in the course of doing that, I very quickly learned that, you add a point here, that if I now add the point over here and I run across to the other side, what can happen is, um, I forget which side I clicked on first over here, and the lines will cross in the middle, making like two triangles, that doesn't work. So I recommend go around the satellite in a, perhaps in a, um, uh, in this way, in this sense, a clockwise direction or something. So I click my next point here, then I click the point here. Now the other thing about these points is that it might seem when they get close together, you want to keep clicking in the middle, but don't. It'll make easier to select one of these anchors when you click still in the circle, but near the outside of the circle. That way you can grab that anchor and move it in close to the satellite trail like that. So don't try to click there because then you might select this one. Instead, click kind of far away. And then again, you can get close like this. Now you'll notice that currently it's adding the curve. We don't actually need to add the curve. We want a straight up, just perfectly straight um, polygon. See, that's where you don't want to do that. You want to click on the outside so you can come in close, click on the outside so you can come in close. You know, you want to leave a little space maybe. You don't want to get perfectly close. No, I don't know, something like that. Now you go to the other end and you make the adjustment there. Maybe it takes a little bit of practice. I don't yet have the fourth point, so I'll click here for the fourth point. And then we adjust the top one coming in like that. And we adjust the other one coming in like that. Now maybe you want to leave, I'm just a little concerned here, I want, to, I want to leave a little bit of room so we have some neighboring pixels there. Um, and that, you know, that's it. That's how you do it. That's the technique. Maybe it takes a few times, a little bit of practice, so we'll add another point here. And then if we abide by my advice, I would add a point here, a point here, and I'll go ahead and make the adjustments on these points. So I come in like that. And on this one, I come in like that. That's pretty close. So then we go and make our fourth point up here. Clicking here, coming in close. There we go. Click here, come in and that's it. So, we would do a binary mask and this should create those two satellite trails. And then you have to decide, well, what do you want to do? 
that we know now we can either as a mask or in some other way select these satellite trails for treatment in the actual image. But what kind of treatment are they going to get? Well, you know. So I'm going to be a little creative here. I'm going to try one method. Let's call this sat trails. So we have a nice name for this thing. And I'm going to invert the colors here because I'm going to try first to use this as a defect map. I'm not saying it's the perfect way, but you know, it could be a fun way. Okay, come under here, defect map. And we select sat trails. So the things that we're trying to correct are black when you when you use this in the defect map process. Um, and let's zoom out here. So there's our satellite trails. And let's see what happens. Ta -da. I mean, it's not terrible, right? Now, what I'm not doing <laughs> is zooming in. So if you zoom in, you can see where the neighboring pixels were substituted. Defect map is going to make a relatively smooth kind of pixel substitution based on the median. That's what it's going to replace. It'll replace it with the median. You can uh, potentially try instead of median, you could try some of these other things like Gaussian and uh, and see if you get a better result. But it's going to be pretty similar here. What Gaussian is going to do, it'll allow the um, it'll give weight to some of the neighboring pixels. Do you see where there's a star here? Uh, it gives some weight there and it puts a little bit of that light into that replacement. Whereas if you did a straight median, so you can see with median, you don't get that contribution of light coming from neighboring things. It's just the literally the median value, which allows you to do the following thing. Um, even though we have basically just, you know, put the median in here, one thing we can do is just match the noise. Um, and then, you know, it blends even a little bit better. So let's just do, this is kind of a standard thing to do. So you do noise generator, uh, obviously, we're going to need a, a, a number smaller than this, and we need a mask. So let's make this now, instead of being a defect map, we make it a mask. We apply it as a mask, like this, but we don't need to display the mask so we can see what we're doing. Um, this is going to be too coarse. Watch what happens here. That's terrible. <laughs> we don't want that. So uh, it's got to be a smaller number. I'm going to make a guess. Something small. Yeah. Uh, that might still be a little much. Maybe we do point, uh, point one, two, three, five. Nah, it needs a little more than that. So I was probably closer with the uh, point zero 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 nine, whatever. So, I, and and it could be I should be using, uh, you know, Gaussian instead of uniform. No, well, now I got to change. Let's just stick with uniform. I have to change the, the noise level. Yeah, I mean, that's close. So zooming out, it's harder to see where you've done the stuff here. Uh, but that's the idea behind being able to select a satellite trail. The, the fundamental thing I wanted to show you here is you can make a, you know, you can make a rectangle, um, even on something as small and thin at any arbitrary angle. Um, like a satellite trail, and that's nice. You don't really need to worry about uh, pixel math in in terms of selecting the satellite trail. Now you can still use pixel math to do some operation uh, to potentially remove the satellite trail or uh, or change it in some you know reasonable way. If I was combining images and I wanted to improve the rejection of satellite trails, I could use this method to input zero values in these regions. So that as part of the integration, image integration process, um, again, it'll surely reject these things um, and then perhaps get a better result than I would have otherwise gotten, uh, been able to get. So that's just a very quick little consideration. Um, it's not a full demonstration of how to get rid of satellite trails. It's really a demonstration of how to just select them and then potentially you can do some things that will help get rid of them.